Sonatine, like so many of Takashi Kitano's films, is a work that seemingly grows richer with every revisitation. In a film that boasts so many components of his distinct style, here Kitano invites us into one of his definitive meditations and stylized visions of Yakuza living. Written, directed, and edited by Kitano himself, here he follows up his 1991 intimate coming-of-age drama, A Scene at the Sea, by returning to his now familiar world of Yakuza cinema, also placing himself in front of the camera once again. The title of Kitano's fourth directorial feature refers to the musical composition for a sole instrument, which is reached at the climax of one's initial training. Katano transfers this concept to the surface of Sonatine itself, as Katano, by this stage in his career had reached his own personal Sonatina and could now decide where he wanted to go next in his career. After not appearing in his previous film, A Scene at the Sea, here Katano returns on screen and portrays elements of his iconic Beat Takashi persona in the form of the central Murakawa character, a mobster who has been dispatched by his boss to Okinawa on assignment. Achieving a rare blend of contemplation and violence, Katano's tale follows Murakawa and his group of Tokyo drifters who are soon sent to help end a gang war. However, when the war starts to escalate, they soon decide to hang out and pass time at the beach. Contrary to many works of Yakuza cinema, much of Sonatine takes place in the daytime. Unlike Katano's previous mobster tale, Boiling Point, we witness these central events unfold under sunshine and on a coastal island setting, the complete opposite of so many of the gloomy inner city crime films that have populated Japanese screens since the 1960s. With Sonatine, Katano seems intent on presenting his own conceptual view of gangster life, one distinct from any other of its kind. Even though his previous two crime-related tales, Violent Cop and Boiling Point, did deal with Yakuza-based narratives, it isn't until Sonatine where Katano commits fully to a protagonist that is completely ingrained into mobster life. Although it would appear to be a true Yakuza film on the surface, Katano's Sonatine hardly plays within its genre conventions. Instead, we witness a world where the violence is somewhat irrelevant to the proceedings, and it is the intimate character moments as well as the thematic emptiness in between, where Katano shines his focus. Sonatine clearly represented a new chapter for Katano, as evidenced not only by his evolution of style and technique, but also by his perception on the global cinematic stage. The film exposed Western audiences to Katano, who was now beyond the preconceived comedic media force that so many regarded him as. He was now seen as an auteur, one that was shattering the established foundations of the crime genre, showing Western audiences that he didn't intend on focusing on action and violence, but rather it was the moments of subtlety and stillness where his true interests lied. And even though Sonatine failed at the local box office, and caused an end to so many of Katano's personal relationships with those in charge at the Shochiku Production Company, it didn't seem to phase Katano in the slightest who himself had just won the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival. Responding to the initial reception of Sonatine, Katano himself would state, the advantage of being a big star is that it enables me to make commercially unsuccessful films. Perhaps this belief is what has caused Katano's iconic cinematic perspective, and it seems understandable why someone so familiar to television audiences through a comedic and mainstream realm would seem so intent on making cinema that distanced itself from that. Whilst Katano's filmic works are clearly filled with moments of nihilism, tension, and subtle reflection, these comedic tendencies that are so ingrained at Katano's core do still shine through, and in turn showcase Katano as a man who possesses two distinct creative personalities, one the artist, and two the comic. It is this acquainted balance of dark comedy peaceful playfulness and explosive violence that defines Sonatine as a stylistically assured work of captivation and destruction, one that allows the performer of Beat Takashi to truly shine through 
in the form of a man living with his own violent impulses and sedative desires. Sonatine demonstrates a vision of the Yakuza where violence seems to be merely an afterthought, with the true focus of the film being the haunting atmosphere that permeates through the lives of these individuals. This is a work that allows Katana's inventive style to truly explode on the screen, furthermore allowing him to redefine the on-screen purpose and emotional perception of Yakuza cinema entirely.